Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nicole Purvey, the founder of the Better Than Success Real Estate League, and I cannot believe that we are celebrating two years. It was almost exactly two years ago to the day, November 23rd, 2016, when we had our very first meeting. So you guys know Better Than Success. It's like 250 members and probably thousands of people who date us. They're not officially members, but you know they come and, and hang out in the periphery. But guess what? When we had our first meeting, it was literally only four of us. I decided, I said, you know what? I want to learn real estate. And I know when I learn something, I go all the way in. So I said, I don't want to do this alone. I want my friends to do it with me. So I told my close friends and some family. And I was like, listen, I'm going to start having these meetings. And we started under a different company. And four people showed up. Of course, my bestie, Nina Keys, my cousin, of course, she showed up. My friend Sean, who he's been my friend for years, but we weren't definitely as close as we are now. So I'm kind of surprised that he ended up showing up over some of the other people. So we had our first meeting and it went really well. We knew nothing about real estate. And then literally right after that, that very next week, we had dozens of people there. And then our other founding member, Jabbar Fairweather, he showed up to that meeting and just really kind of blew our minds away with his colorful personality. I was like, uh, I don't know about that guy. But now he's like one of my best friends. And we literally have been growing exponentially ever since. So we started having our meetings when we were at our first office on 2424 East York Street. And we literally outgrew the room. Like we literally had meetings where people were pouring outside, like literally standing in the hallway, just trying to get a bit of the information. Our old landlords was like, nah, you can't have these meetings anymore. So we had to move to one of our members, our amazing member, Michael Holloway. He has an office in Sheltonham, and we moved to his office temporarily. And at the same time, we just so happened to move our actual physical business to this amazing space that we have on 2930 Jasper Street. We've done a lot of stuff. We started the Women in Real Estate Summit. We started the Philly Real Estate Week. This was just an idea that I had and it grew to be something larger than I could have ever dreamed. Our first Philly Real Estate Week, five events in nine days and thousands of people attended these events. And we've gone as a group, we've gone skiing, we've gone whitewater rafting. We have even invested together and we've done flips together. We have really formed some bonds. We have formed friendship, we formed partnerships, and guess what? We have made a lot of money. I have literally seen my friends and my family grow, as well as myself, right? We have grown, we literally almost grew up together. When, the other day I was just having a conversation with one of our members, and he was just saying how proud of me he was, and I'm like, I'm proud of you. Like, I just literally watched you grow from like, spending a whole bunch of money on clothes and fashion to like, yo, I'm just taking all my money and putting it in real estate. And he's like, the same with you. I'm like, I know, we just watched each other grow up together. So I cannot believe that we were celebrating two years. Like, I want to say thank you to all of our members for just being a part of this and being on this journey with me. But most importantly, I want to say thank you to you for doing this for yourself, doing it for your family, doing it for your kids and your kids' kids. I'm just super, super thankful that we're celebrating two years. This is just beyond my wildest dreams. So I want you guys to enjoy yourselves and just make sure you get the most out of all this information that people have poured hours and hours and hours into to give to you. So enjoy yourselves, you guys, and happy anniversary! What do you think about our first investment as a partnership? Ooh, I'm doing well. Like... That was something powerful for me because I remember thinking, you know, I want to invest in real estate, I want to do this thing, but it's like, what do we do? What are the steps? What happens when I get confused? I don't want to, you know, mess up, right? Mm -hmm. And then we get with people like Jabbar, who's been doing it over time, and we get to do it as a partnership. Like, that's, that's, that's crazy. The power of the group. And that's something that, you know, Facts. you can't fake. Like, we're in it together. And that's the part that gives you confidence when investing in a partnership. So they're walking away with things that they can implement right away. It's not this pie in the sky 
type of information. It's really concrete information that they can take and you know use right away so that they can have results and, and find success in a, in a short amount of time, shorter than they would be able to if they were doing it on their own. When Jabari showed up and started <laughs> running down these numbers, oh, you can do this. Give me 5,000 and I'll flip it into 25,000. Oh, I just closed this deal. I just closed that. I'm like, yo, is this dude telling the truth for what? I don't know. It, it's crazy. Remember your Maybe. first check? I remember my first check. Yeah. All that did, he, he, he called and he was like, man, all you got to do is just connect a, a seller and a buyer. I'm like, oh, I got a seller right here. Got a buyer, first check, 1500 Oh, shoot, I'm in all the way. <laughs> I got to get some more of these $1,500 checks. I posted it up there, like, take that thing down. You got names up there. I was like, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I was excited to uh, get that check. But, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. And, you know, I'm just, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I remember the first time I came to the meeting, well, actually, before that, Nikki hit me up in my uh, DM. I said, oh, this is Nikki. Oh, man, shoot. Hold up, what's she want? <laughs> you know, she was in my DM. That is a lie. That's not what happened. <laughs> like I said, she was in my DM, hit me about coming to a real estate meeting. I said, what's she know about real estate? I said, you know, I'm going to come through. You know what I mean? Bless her with my presence. That's basically what happened at BTS and the meetings. All you, uh, Nina, Sean, and Nikki was just like, yo, we family. Uh -huh. This is my cousin, this is that. And I'm looking like, yo, some good looking women in this room. Like, hey, yeah. hold up. <laughs> All right. I could be surrounded by them. And Sean was cool as shit. Sean was like, yo, I'm going to uh, do this, this, and that, what I got to do. And he was just so gung ho. And I said, man, this, this, is, this is definitely where it's at. I know a lot of people in this game, in this industry. And of course, now I found out Nikki was like, he's probably lying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it ain't that easy. And I'm like, no, I know everybody. She's like, nah. But we had those meetings every Wednesday. Like one thing, two, every Wednesday we knew where we was going to be. I would see people on Instagram. It's funny because I seen Sean like skiing. I'm like, yo, I, I want to go skiing. I'm going to meet with this. One day I'm going to meet with this dude and we're going to go skiing. And then somehow this all came together and here I go skiing with this guy. <laughs> that I, 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 and so I went from, okay, having a little bit of success here and there to having fun doing it and having fun with people that look like us and seeing the value that we could give back to other people that don't have to spend 25, 30,000. Yeah. And like Barr said, um, Man, we had that one run. We did like five, six deals, and like couldn't tell us nothing. Like oh, just, it was like team, they were team, definitely it's on top team. Of yeah. <laughs> every other, every other post is like, yo, another one, another one, another one. <laughs> and I think the greatest thing about it is just a group of committed people that are committed to learning, that are committed to helping one another. And if you're looking for a place where you can be around people that are actually in the fight, in the game, uh, Better Than Success League is the best place to be. A potential uh, real estate investor right now. I came into BTS on a whim. It was a meetup type situation. I didn't know what was going on. But after I got in here, I saw all these people that were actually contributing to each other's success. So I stayed, I came back. This is my third day here, and I'm already netting a deal in the next couple of days. So overall, my experience has been phenomenal to be able to connect with other like-minded real estate investors such as myself, and I'm looking forward to being part of BTS for a long time coming. It's a great ecosystem for especially people who are starting in, in this space to uh, learn the ropes, ask stupid questions, and um, you know, it's a great, it's a great energy here. You know? I actually have met clients, new friends through BTS, and uh, I've been able to participate in some of the events, sponsored a couple of the events. Uh, I've actually done a lot of workshops. It's helped me with my own personal growth as a professional because in me training other members about how my business works, it's allowed me to get better at my craft. And so if you're a member uh, or thinking about becoming a member and you want to get into real estate investing, like join BTS. I don't know. In this past year, since joining, I was able to walk away from my nine to five and pursue my dream full time. It's been, it's been challenging, but it's been a blessing. It meant so many 
prominent members, influential members who helped me along my journey, and it's been nothing but good mentorship. And if you're looking to join and help pursue your dreams, help change your life and your family's future, I recommend this BTS League. It's amazing.